Hey everybody, it's Brad. And I'm Krista. <laughs> with the Big Family Homestead. And we have got some serious issues. Anniversary, ATV, and, and whatnot. And giggles. <laughs> issues. So let's roll. So as most of you know, we've shared a lot about our 25th wedding anniversary. <laughs> We made it. it. We celebrated it most of next week. We had a few big, you know, cool moments and then some smaller moments and some dinner moments. Yeah. That. Last week. I gotta get my watch fixed. We don't do time um, travel. It's last week. Yeah. But the cool big thing, I guess, would be that instead of going on a cruise or a. A holiday. <laughs> a holiday? Well, I guess we did go on a holiday. We did go on a holiday. But what we did is we took and rode our ATVs long distance. Well, not really long distance, but long was, distance for us. That was the most we had driven yeah. on them and ever. And we drove a few places and went to some bed and breakfasts. Well, and the coolest thing too is you're on all of these off roads to where you're going to see different little shops. You're not on the main roads and you pass all this stuff flying at 60 miles an hour. And we will get to that. I yes. know where you're going. I am. She's already, okay. Girls in there showing off. She's already, you'll, you'll see. When it comes out, you'll see. We have to set up, the, we have to set the, t the, the tone, baby, the tone. You're gonna arrest me for my tone? My tone? <laughs> That's a whole nother story. Yes. Someday ask us about it. You're gonna arrest me for my tone? It wasn't me though. No, it was somebody it, that I knew. It wasn't me either. Okay. So we have, we're pretty much very new to the ATVing world. Very new. And are loving it. Yeah, we have had ATVs less than a year. Mm -hmm. And we've had bad ATVs mm -hmm. much longer than we've had good ATVs. <laughs> And the ones we have now are good and How, they work. However. There, there was a thing that we're gonna talk about later. Yes. That let's just say it was the providence of God that it did not happen a day or two earlier. Before, right. And it was just random, mm -hmm. but we'll get to that. So we're driving. Just like that too. And you gotta do that because you're you gotta, simulating the, the, shimmy. the shimmy of the road <laughs> and the bumps. <laughs> And we're going through towns and we're going north and there's this town called Prentice and I slam on my brakes because what did my eyes see? Oh, it yeah. said antiques and ice cream. When? So she goes, you had me at, ah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I said, no, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> so we're driving down these dirt roads, not knowing where we're going, how far it is. Right. Yeah, so we get up to this little place. It's so, such a cute little cottage, and they have antiques and ice cream. Something for both of us. Two of our favorites. <laughs> so we go inside, and we get a couple of scoops of ice cream, and we actually couldn't finish it. There was so much ice cream. It was and really it was only a single scoop. I'm like, yeah. who orders a triple? Yeah, or a double. I mean, that was insane. And look at me. I can eat ice cream. Oh, yeah. I was built like this. It's like a shark. They do two things. They swim, <laughs> well, three, poop and eat. And I, ice cream and me were buds. <laughs> I couldn't finish it. No, we neither of us could finish. We couldn't even get halfway. I barely got to the cone. I had to take a couple of quick bites of the waffle cone before I got rid of it. But it was so full. She had to know. She I had, had to, to know, know if it was if it tasted good or not. She had to know. Yes. And they had all kinds of really, really cool things. Um, they had real antiques, and then they had some more kitschy stuff, you know? Yeah, just some frou-frou little gadgets and gizmos. and. I'll tell you what, if I were a richer man, I would have bought, they had a jukebox, a Wurlitzer jukebox. It was so cool. That played records, not 45s. CDs. 45s. Not CDs, but records. Yeah. And it flipped them up so that you could actually see the record going while it played. Yeah. It was lots of money. It was, was $1,000. Yeah. 
but really super cool. cool. Mm-hmm. We did not get that, but we did find something that just a little little something. Just a little something. Uh, they had some soy and bee wa- beeswax candles there, and they I, well, just look at that. And little milk jugs. Who would not want that? That is so adorable. And the candles smell really good, so I haven't burned them yet. So fast forward, we dump our ice cream, which is abhorrent to a person like me. Right. But it had to go. We had to uh, get well, your motor and running. Jonathan, uh, and Jonathan wasn't with us yeah. to finish them because he is a bottomless pit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He'd stick it in his pocket for later. Gross. But so there was a, a slight problem with directions. Um, but it was quickly worked out. It was just basically they said it was supposed to be there was a road that was supposed to be two or three miles down that way. And it was right there. The, vet, the last mile, or the last instruction. Oh, the last instruction. Mm-hmm. that We were supposed to take this ATV route. Right, and it and said that it was supposed to be way down there. And it wasn't, and then we found it, and it was, well, you'll see here. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So we get to this place. This place is called Palm Quist Farms in Brantwood. This place was absolutely beautiful. You come in... <clears throat> you come in and there's this big archway and then you go up a hill and there's over the a barn. Bridge. Yeah, over a little creek and there's the big barn at the top of the hill and there's all these cabins all over. Well, not all these cabins. There was probably eight. I didn't count, but there, there felt like there was more than six. Yeah. And they all were matching. Oh, yes. They all had the red barn paint and the... Yeah, they were, they were so cool. Oh, yeah. And some of them were lodges where you could get a bunch of people in there. And some were like family sized. And then you could just get an upper room. And what we did was um, uh, we set it up to where they offered dinner and breakfast there, like a bed and breakfast. Yes. And uh, the food was real yeah. nice. Yeah. Oh, it was yeah. awesome. There was like baked cod and flank steak and all this kind of stuff. But I think the coolest thing about that, honestly, Mm -hmm. was the family that owns the place and runs the place. And then there were some folks there that work for them. And then there was a relative there and we're all at a big table just Mm -hmm. chowing down. It was so it was it was a family dinner, even though we weren't part of their family. We felt welcomed. Yes, we felt welcomed like part of their family. And, and it was you, really, really sweet. And you know what? When sometimes, this is the truth, and you, you know, you know, and I'm telling you, and you'll know, when you get invited over to that family dinner that you really don't want to be at, and you're uncomfortable the whole time because there's always that tension, and you know you can't talk to Joe about politics because, whew, and then you, you better not bring up the Green Bay Packers if you're over at Dude's house. That tension, not there. Well, and Helen is a huge Green Bay Packer fan. She's she's the mom. Yeah, she's the she's the mom, and she was a, a huge Packers fan. But none of that stuff was there. No. It felt like people you wanted to hang out with. Right. They were all they had all had great stories and um, just Jim. Jim has a Jim, fantastic story. Jim is an old Swedish man, <laughs> and he is awesome. He has got so many tales, and and here's one right here, right now. Check this out. So this is Jim, and I'm not sure that he's telling me the whole truth, nothing but the truth, and something else. I think I'm getting told a a, a, a load of bull. But go ahead, and you you tell me your side of the story here. Well, Brad, you were talking about loading some pigs, and how you thought it would take 20 minutes, and it took quite a bit longer. And so it kind of reminded me of a story that our old veterinarian used to tell. Uh, he grew up in Iowa on a farm, and he mentioned that they were loading a bull on the neighbor farm there, and they had been working all morning with it, and then it just would not go into the truck. And so one of the men there got the idea that uh, that let's use the, this was years ago when people used, the farmers used to raise their hay into the barn with ropes and slings and stuff, that let's use the hay lift for lifting the bull up and we'll back the truck underneath and we'll let the bull down. So they built a little bit of a sling for the bull and they tied him up to that and then they used a horse for pulling what was called cross haul for pulling the rope for pulling the bull up and so they pulled the bull up and he let out a huge beller and the horse got scared and he ran away and so the bull went up and he went into the barn and that's where they had to then just butcher him actually there because there was no other way to get him out. 
I don't know, people. Comment section down below. You you tell me if if Jim is spinning a yarn here. Let me know. I'm not sure if he's telling the truth with the bull and the stuff and the things. It sounds like a bunch of hooey to me, but he tells it well. Still a really funny story. And he had more stories, mm -hmm. but some of them are not fit for family. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> well, and there was a young couple there, and she was she's due with her they, with their first baby within a week, and she's riding her bike up and down, and you know still working and just. They were awesome. They people. were really cool people. Awesome people, and and here's the thing too, uh, we're gonna show you the the cabin that we stayed in, but before I show you, I have to tell you because I know that when when these folks see this, they're gonna be like. You let them see the room like that? Because <laughs> it was after we had gotten there and made a mess. It was the next day. So none of the, the bedding is right. I have a picture of the bedding. You can put that in. Eh, it's too hard. No, no. Let's just say that it was really, really, really nice. It was really nice, yes. Yeah. Okay, so inside the cabin, there's my lovely bride. She is packing up. We're getting ready to head out. They've got all kinds of stuff. It's It's got the big bed, as you can see, freshly slept upon. It's got the uh, old wood burner inside. They had a bathroom over there. And then I'm gonna show you something really cool. But the view is of a creek right out there. Can you see it? There's a creek. It's very nice. What lies behind this crazy, very, very dated 70s awesome glass? A full-blown, raging sauna. Ha ha ha, let the camera adjust. Yeah, crazy awesome sauna. It's steamy and moist in there for sure. And there's a second bedroom with the same awesome view. And um, oh yeah, I uh, started having this horrible coughing fit midway through the night. I, I, the allergies here are kicking my booty. Yeah, my allergies were going over time and I had started with these coughing fits and I just was like, you know what? There's a second bedroom. I am not, I will not, no, 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 no. I will not make my wife listen to all that hacking and wheezing and sneezing and nonsense. So they had a small library of a few books because there's no TV or technology here, which was really, really awesome. So as we're looking at the books, we found this book about grandfathers and uh, household hints for grandfathers. From the perspective of a grandfather. Yes. However, <laughs> this was published in 1969. Yes, so yes. read that, baby. And this particular grandfather took care of seven grandchildren. And uh, so <clears throat> there's um, several really great tips in here. Um, one on swearing is really funny. Avoid swearing at or in front of the grandchildren, but if you are unable to refrain, use only words they already use or grandma uses. Here's another one on the preservation of shoes. For to, kids, for, for grandkids. For children. To save wear and tear on rubber heels, have the grandchildren wear their shoes on the wrong feet every other day. This can amount to the savings of 50 cents a year per child. Okay, now one of my favorite passages was hilarious, but you have to keep in mind, this is not written today with all its political correctness and social okay and don't touch my feelings, I'm a snowflake and I'll melt. Uh, so what he did was he separated in terms of mental acuity, um, new terms that they used in 1969 as opposed to old terms that they used back when he was young, okay? So a new term for a subnormal IQ is stupid as an old term. New term, slightly retarded. And we don't use that anymore now, do we? But the new term was slightly retarded. The new term, the old term, somewhat stupid. The new term, high IQ. Old term, <laughs> chip off the old block. New term, mentally disturbed. Old term, has ants in his pants. <laughs> New term, socially immature. Old term, acne. New term, bullies younger folk. Old term, too big for his age. New term, not active in games. Old term, sissy. 
<laughs> oh my gracious. New term, uses vulgar language. And this is my favorite. The old term was, has good memory and a sharp ear and is attentive. <laughs> so that was the room. And once again, it was really, really nice. Well, but, you're, you're, you're gonna put the picture in, right? I'll be happy to put the picture in. <laughs> It'll be right here. So 411, baby, what did you think of the place? I love it. It's so peaceful and quiet. There's no cars flying by. It's just... <sighs> we slept with the windows open. Yes, yeah, slept with the windows open, could hear the birds singing, and then when they went to sleep, we could hear the frogs and the crickets. And, and then the birds again. And then the birds again at 5.30 this morning. <laughs> That's why I shut the windows. But you know what? I think we really need to come back because they do sleigh rides. Yes, they do. Kids are going to love that. <laughs>